I created this video because a lot of my uh, subscribers ask me uh, to cover some very interesting uh, subject which is printing uh, with a flexible filament on a uh, Allegro uh, Neptune uh, 4 Plus printer. So this is this uh, big guy uh, behind me. And of course uh, I will uh, talk about it and I will help you to create a Cura profile that you can also use this type of filament uh, in your uh, printer. Uh, before we start, let us talk uh, about uh, TPU. Uh, TPU is basically a, a very flexible filament. Uh, it's very strong resistance and you can bend it uh, very uh, well. And it's very useful in many applications. So uh, this one, uh, this part is printed from a TPU. It's some um, generic TPU. Uh, uh, I used mostly two brands, uh, Sanlu or uh, Kingoron. And you can see, you can uh, bend it. It's very flexible and uh, it will keep uh, the shape after uh, bending it. If we compare it with a PLA, so PLA, it's a phone stand. It's not so flexible. You can bend it a little bit, but it may break. So mostly you can use it uh, for uh, creating some nice uh, cases uh, that needs to be uh, uh, really resistant. So when you drop this case, it won't break and it will protect everything what is inside. It's a kind of, uh, this one is a stand for a Neptune printer uh, to remove uh, or to decrease the vibration between um, the desk and the printer. Uh, to print a TPU, of course, you need to create a Cura profile. In this uh, video, I will show you how to create uh, such a profile for Cura. Uh, we won't be uh, talking about uh, another uh, slicers. We will focus on the standard uh, Cura uh, slicer in the newest version and we can compare uh, the print results uh, between uh, a profile from Aligo and uh, the profile uh, created by me. Before we switch uh, to Cura, uh, I would like to answer uh, a very important question. Uh, of course, uh, most of you will uh, ask it. Uh, and uh, would you like to know if uh, you need to change anything in your a Nept stock Neptune 4 Plus or it will work uh, without any issue with a TPU. The answer is uh, really uh, simple. You don't need to check, uh, change anything. Uh, Neptune 4 Plus is, has a direct drive extruder, so you can uh, uh, use a TPU directly with your printer and you don't need to change anything. You just need to use the uh, correct a, a, a Cura profile uh, for your Neptune 4 uh, Plus. I started uh, two uh, Cura uh, versions, the old one from uh, Eligo, this is the 4.8, and the new one uh, from Cura, this is the 5.6 version. Uh, this is the newest version uh, at this time uh, when I created this video, uh, but don't worry, the profile uh, I will provide you uh, uh, can you import in every uh, Cura uh, version. So for this uh, demo uh, purpose, I created a small uh, spacer. It's uh, uh, really small, so it's not a big thing. And we can uh, model it, uh, print it and uh, compare uh, the end result between uh, two models. So uh, first of all, if we compare the print time using uh, the standard Lego Cura profile, we will uh, uh, we will uh, need to uh, uh, will need to spend seven minutes to get uh, the spacer, and it will take like one gram of uh, filament. In case of my uh, profile, it will take four minutes, so it's uh, almost a. Fi uh, it's almost 100% uh, faster than uh, this one. And it will also take uh, the same amount of 
uh, filament. What I have changed in uh, this profile. So uh, this profile uh, uses the mostly the settings from uh, uh, Neptune, Elego Neptune uh, uh, profile, and I change a uh, few things like uh, uh, like uh, uh, wall uh, uh, thickness and so on. So you can compare it um, um, one to one, and then you will see. The differences I won't talk about every line I change, but I would like to present you the final uh, result uh, using uh, this uh, profile. As you can see, it's faster, and the result, uh, as you will see in a minute, will be much better than the standard uh, Aligo uh, profile. To save your time, I already printed um, the spacer. Uh, I have both of them. This one is the uh, Neptune, Elego Neptune profile, and on this hand I have my uh, uh, space created by uh, with my profile. You don't see the difference because it's uh, really small, but on the uh, picture you can see the differences uh, 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 comparing uh, both uh, of the spacer side by side. As you can see, uh, the Luby uh, profile uh, has a better print uh, quality. It, it's much faster. And uh, uh, first of all, uh, I, uh, I zoom in uh, the, um, the, the, the image that you can see also the lines uh, in normal. Uh, case you won't see the lines, they are very small. It's a typical dry D print, but the quality is uh, very nice. If you have a look on the Allegro profile on the other side, uh, you can see there are some spaces between lines and uh, it does not look uh, so nice like the Luby profile. The, all the uh, changes I made in the profile uh, were tested on a few prints. I printed uh, a lot of um, MTB uh, tools, uh, bike tools. So as you can see, this is one of uh, such tool. It's a bleeding funnel. Um, and in this funnel, you need to use some uh, uh, O-rings. Uh, you can buy them or you can print it. In this case, TPU is very useful because you can uh, print it and you can see this is the small one, this is the bigger one, and they fit very well. So you can install it on your brake and remove air from the uh, brake system. This is one uh, of the use cases for a TPU creating uh, the uh, O-rings. The link to the profile uh, is in the video description. You can just import it to Cura and then uh, with this profile, uh, just uh, start a test print. You can print the spacer shown on the picture. There's also a link uh, in the description uh, to this uh, test print. For those of you that you don't know how to import a Cura profile, it's uh, relatively easy. Uh, you uh, need to choose some uh, generic uh, TPU profile. There's a list of uh, profiles uh, like uh, choose a TPU uh, and uh, go down. There is a manage profile uh, um, a menu uh, item. Just click on it and there is this import button. So you can import uh, the profile, uh, you need to select the uh, Cura file and then uh, you will see there will be a custom profile in this. In my case, I have some uh, fine fast profiles for PEDG, uh, PLA and a TPU. It's called fine fast a TPU. But uh, what I would like to say, <laughs> tell you, uh, printing with TPU is not fast. So you won't get um, um, on the high speed uh, printer, you won't get high speed result because TPU is a rub, is a kind of a, a rubber. So uh, it uh, cannot be print, uh, printed very fast. But when you print it, you most you are printing small parts. It won't take long, like in this case, it takes like four minutes. And um, 
uh, the features that TPU offers uh, you uh, I are, wor are worth uh, waiting and the speed is not so important uh, in this case. The link uh, to the uh, TPU profile is in the video description. Uh, the test uh, the model is also available on my print tables uh, profile. The link will be also in the video uh, uh, description. And of course, if you like uh, the content, please uh, don't forget to smash uh, the like button and subscribe uh, to the channel. Uh, in the future, I will be posting a lot of uh, similar videos uh, covering different filament types and uh, printing tips that you can use with uh, a Lego Neptune uh, printers or uh, printers from other uh, companies. Thank you for watching and have a great day.